Chapter 5, Medical Communications Coordinator. Anybody that can stand and walk, please get out of the car and go stand on the ground. Scripps La Jolla, Engine 9. Scripps La Jolla, Engine 9, we're at the scene of a bus accident versus vehicle. There's going to be multi-patients. Uh, triage is at this time getting, taking a uh, account on patients. Activate MCI protocol. Please put county hospitals on Annex D activation. Engine 9 will be back with further information as well as patient count. How do you have it? Perhaps the most important role to assign early in the MCI or MPI event, commonly referred to as the MedCom. The MedCom's primary task is to communicate with the designated base hospital to provide initial size-up information and obtain bed availability. The MedCom communicates to only one hospital through the entire incident. San Diego County protocol that dictates the MedCom will utilize the hospital closest to the incident as the base hospital. The reasoning is that the hospital closest to the incident will be the location where press and families are most likely to assemble. Bed availability is a list of what hospitals can receive how many of each injury category. When patients are ready for transport, MedCom refers to the bed availability list to provide the transportation group supervisor the destination hospital the patients are to be taken to. Due to the critical nature of the communication, the MedCom should be located near the ambulance loading area. The MedCom can expect to communicate with multiple entities on scene, which can create confusion if not properly managed. Assigning a scribe early in the incident provides a communication buffer so the MedCom can focus on his priorities. The scribe will always remain by the MedCom side and maintain accurate records of bed availability and patient information. Once the ambulance departs, the MedCom is provided information about each patient on board. This information is then provided to the base hospital. S-140 MCI Protocol When providing information about the patient to the hospital during an MCI, the MedCom should only provide the patient triage tag number, injury category, transporting unit with destination, and estimated time of arrival to the hospital as required under County S-140. Patients identified at the incident that require specialty care, such as a burn patient and pediatric patient, should be communicated to the base hospital for inclusion of specialty hospitals in the bed count. Extraneous information that is not part of this standard report should not be provided as it delays transport of the victims. S-140 MPI protocol. During an MPI, the base hospital will provide the patient destination based upon a more thorough report as required under County S-140 protocol. This report, commonly referred to as PAMSgate, requires a paramedic to provide the patient triage tag number, age of patient, mechanism of injury, sex of the patient, chief complaint, abnormal findings of the patient, transporting unit, and estimated time of arrival. Examples of abnormal findings include injuries discovered during secondary assessment and vital signs not within the county's accepted standards. Alright, you're going to be going to Grossmont Hospital. Alright. UCSD Engine 9. UCSD Engine 9 Medic 33 is going to be bringing two patients to late status. Grossmont Hospital. During the first contact with the base hospital, the MedCom will identify themselves with their unit designator for QCS purposes. Unit designators should not be used after the initial contact as they can create confusion during the transport of victims to the hospital. In all subsequent communications, the MedCom will utilize the incident name and his position identifier. All communications to the base hospital will utilize the Regional Communication System, or RCS. Agencies not using RCS as part of their normal communication system should become familiar with the RCS channels programmed into their radios.